Hi developers, in our Zamarin Forms application, we have used one single instance of the main view model with our three pages, which are the main page, the search page, and the add new employee page. So, we made sure that we used one single instance of the main view model by creating the instance of the main view model inside the main page. Then, when we go to navigate to the search page or to the add a new employee page, we pass that instance used by the main page to the search page and to the add a new employee page using the constructor of these two pages. So that this way we are making sure we, we are using one single instance of the main view model inside our three uh, pages. In this video, we will uh, explore a better solution for this, um, let's say, situation. For that, we will use application resources. What application resources is, is like a place where you, de you define uh, variables or you, de you define objects that could be used inside all your application. So, so the scope of these objects will be the entire application. It's not only the page or not only a certain uh, view. But here, the application resources have some, um, let's say, uh, negative points. Because anything you declare inside, any object you declare inside, uh, the application resources should use parameterless uh, constructor. So if our main view model uses some parameters inside the constructor, then you won't be able to use or to instantiate it inside the application resources. To solve this problem, we will use the main view, uh, the view, uh, view model locator, which will be uh, responsible for instantiating the uh, view models. So let's get started. Hi developers, in this video we'll learn how we can use application resources and main view model locator in Xamarin Forms applications. So in our Xamarin Forms application here we have used the same instance of the main view model with our in three pages, main page, new employee page and search page. And also we have used the same single instance of the main view model. The way we did that is by instantiating the main, uh, the, uh, main view model inside the main page using this uh, code binding context. This one will create an instance of the main view model. Then when we go to navigate to the um, search page and add the new employee page, then we retrieve that main view model uh, from the binding context of that page. Then we, uh, that instance we have retrieved, we pass it um, using, um, we pass it to the new employee page through the parameter or through the constructor of that page. We did the same with the search page where we retrieve the main view model from the main page then we pass it uh, to the search page through the, um, the constructor here. Then when we go to the search page then we, uh, we do binding context to that main view model we ha that uh, was passed by the main page. So using uh, this way we are using the, the same instance of the main view model so that the information inside the main view model which is in our case the selected employee will be um, always uh, the same. So now we want to come with a better solution for this situation. For that we will use application resources. So here to implement the application resources I go to the app.xaml 
and here I can define the objects that will be used for the scope of all the application for that here inside the application dot resources I'll go and add a resource dictionary here and inside this dictionary a resource dictionary I will define a main view model and I will use it from all my three pages for that now let's create the main view model Alt enter as I am using resharper it adds the view models namespace then this instance of the main view model I'll give it a name let's say uh, or a key actually let's give it let's say it's a main view model so now that I have this uh, resource defined in my app in, inside my application then I can use it inside all my um, view pages for that I start with the main page and here instead of saying or instead of creating a new instance of the main view model I'll go and use the instance that I have created inside the application resources here so I'll go and use this resources so the way to do that I'll go here to the content page and use binding context and I'll bind to a static resource because each resource defined inside the resource dictionary will be considered as a static resource for that I use here static resource then here you see I got my main view model um, here in IntelliSense so I go and use that so now my main page is binding to that single instance of the main view model I do and I go and copy this code for all the two uh, pages two other pages so here for the add the new employee page I go and command out this code and add that uh, binding context to bind to the main view model and I'll do the same for the search page so now my three pages are using this one same single instance of the main view model so there is actually a couple of other um, modifications I should go and make for the search page here as I am passing um, the main view model here inside this uh, constructor I'll go and remove it and also remove this binding context because now we are using uh, this binding context if we let both binding context the one in, in the XAML um, code and the one in the code behind here like that then the one in the code behind will override the binding context inside the, the XAML code why because here I am by calling in initialize component before binding context I am calling the code of the XAML so it will go and bind context to the main view model after initialize component um, finishes its execution it will go to to execute this line of code so that it will override that main view model um, declared in the application resources and it will use this instance of the main view model so let's comment this out to use that one same instance declared inside the application resources also we should go to the new employee page and here I get rid of this uh, constructor that accepts main view model and as I remove it, uh, these two uh, parameters from the constructors, I should of course go to uh, my main page 
and as I removed this uh, constructor, this um, parameter from the search page, I also need to go and remove um, this one so that the search page doesn't accept the parameter of type main view model. And the same thing for my uh, new employee page, so it doesn't accept anymore a main view model. So this way, so let's uh, control shift B to make sure we didn't miss it any um, anything uh, and that our application compiles successfully. Build succeeded. So now we are sure that we use it uh, the same instance declared the same instance of the main view model declared inside our application resources we use it with all our three um, pages so now let's go to the second uh, section from this video here when whenever we use um, an object inside the resource dictionary main view model here uh, as this line of code will create a new instance of the main view model it should use or it should um, uh, have a, a parameterless constructor so inside this um, um, creation or this instantiation it will go and use the parameterless constructor of the main view model here we have our main view model doesn't have any um, parameter so it's uh, enough lag for us but whenever you have some parameters inside your uh, main view model let's say for example here you have a string the name for example then here you cannot use this so you see here it it have now uh, this blue line indicating that the message here there is no default constructor found so either I, I, I go and add the parameter list constructor but that way if I'm required to pass some uh, parameters then I cannot do that so the way to do um, that is by implementing the pattern of using um, view model locator so how can we create the view model locator so i go to my um, application to the portable project and add a new folder let's call it configuration and here i'll add the view model locator it's a class which I call view model locator. This class is public. So inside the view model locator, we find and uh, or we find properties that are um, of type our uh, main view model. So here I'll go and create a property and let's call it main view model let's call it also main view model here we need only the uh, get and inside the constructor of the main uh, of the view model locator I go and instantiate that main view model to set it to a new main view model and you see here I can pass the parameter which is uh, of type string for example let's say this name for, for example so this way we are solving the problem of having um, parameters inside the constructor of the main view model so this is the first step the second step is to go to the app.xaml and here instead of declaring or defining the main view model i'll go and define the view model locator
So here you, you don't you should not forget to add the namespace of that view model locator. And here I give my view model locator a next key so that I can use it inside uh, my application pages. So I call it view model locator. Now I can go and use this view model locator instead of the main view model. So the view model locator contains an instance of the main view model. So the only modification I should make is to go to the uh, my main pages and set the binding context not directly to the main view model, but instead I change the binding context to say binding and set the source of uh, that binding to our static resource which is the view model locator and here as the view model locator uh, contains a public property of type main view model actually I can access this property by uh, saying here that the binding will be my main view model. So this way we are binding to the single instance of that main view model, of that uh, view model locator, and the single instance of the view model locator, of course, will contain, will return a single instance of our main uh, view model. So I'll go and copy all this code and reuse this same one with my search page and also with the add the new uh, employee page. So this way we are um, creating a single instance of the view model locator and using all the properties inside that view model locator. Here, we, in our application, we have only one uh, view model, which we call it main view model, but in other applications, you might find many other uh, view models. So the way you can bind to those view models is by creating another view model as we have done here with the main uh, view model. So let's say we have another view model that's called home view model, for example. We don't have it here, but let's imagine we have that um, home view model. So with that, you go and set your home view model to say equal new home uh, view model and then if you want for example your search page to bind to the home view model instead of the main view model then you should go here and here you get the home view model with uh, the main view model so you set it to your home view model so this way we have solved the problem of using the same instance of the main view model and also we solved um, the problem of having the parameterless uh, constructor by creating a view model locator so that now I can pass any uh, parameter to my main view model inside uh, the view model locator. And thank you.